So, hi guys, and welcome back to Hoff. This is House of Fun. Where it's always fun. Well, I try and make it fun, especially with weird things like this. Um, I've needed a vice. Not a vice. Why do I keep saying vice? Um, a lathe. I've needed a lathe for a long time. I, I bought this piece at the back here a while ago. Um, it said on the list in that it was for wood and metal, like a mini lathe for wood and metal. And the, uh, you can see the chuck's tiny, but we, I will make do. I might buy a new one, see if I can get one to fit. This is an XY milling deck thing I bought. This was about a tenner, 15 quid. This was about 25 quid. I think it was 30, 25, 30 quid. Um, there's a little bit of play in it, but you can tighten it all up and I, I've been using it and I haven't tightened all the pieces up properly and they've kind of come loose on me again. That's my fault, but I slightly tested it out on a bar to begin with and, uh, and it worked. So I'm like, yeah, screw that. Let's actually make something I need. So these, I bought. These are for Franken scooter. If you guys keep up with the channel, nice one, thank you. This is for Franken scooter. It's a five mil shaft. Franken scooters, new motors over there. Them new motors, they are five mil shafts. So these are the new couplers for them. So obviously, like I say, this chuck is tiny. So the five mil bar is in there with um, grub screws. It goes in, gets all tightened up, and then uh, nice and tight. I'm just gonna set you guys up there so you can see that. Tilt you down a bit. There we go. So let's get this in nice and tight. That goes in there like so. And then it locks in, but ignore the gear, the fact that the gear is already on there, because that's what I need to do to this. That was one of them, is one of them. So it's got, a, it's to the right size, exactly. And then I put a D spot in it, a flat spot, a D spot, a flat spot and tapped that down i am probably going to tack weld that into place just so that it doesn't move um but yeah that's pretty solid that's what i'm needing from this so we use this because it stops the end from wobbling and causing an awful lot of chatter and all that malarkey i think i need to change angle of my tool post but I will find out yeah no that's going to catch there's a screw down the back here and it catches on it so I will just pause a moment and I'll come back in a sec once I've realigned that so we are back on and readjusted the tool um, I kind of forgot to explain as well uh, let's see if I can find some in here without going wandering or moving stuff uh -huh. here we go right so underneath this is two lengths of this they run from about there to here two of these high there is a set of two at the front at a back and a set of two at the front the ones at the front i have to have a gap here underneath that so they are from about there to there the bottom one is full length the two topper ones are not they're only to here and here and here and here because the back of this pushes into the inside of it and it lines up kind of perfect underneath um, when i eyeballed it all it did look fine but i had to actually put these underneath the back of the tool to drop it down into the right position um, the fact that I don't need to go to centre on this, I, they're probably not needed, but they're there anyway just to satisfy me. But yeah, there is a large deck of aluminium under the bottom, 
which is this large bit of alley i did make some little standoff feet which are here and here and there's another two at the back so they're all there on that and then let me get you back there we go let's try and balance this phone so it doesn't fall there we go um if you've got headphones in or if your phone's loud watch your ears let me just grab my headphones not headphones i don't need headphones my goggles because this thing spits sometimes and we all know about me getting met in my eye i'm not doing it again um this actually has a black box on this side uh, it has a speed control on it but i've just got it on 19 it goes up to 24 whatever it's not i don't need the speed i don't think so i don't know i'll learn more as i keep cutting i this is first time so i'm learning as you're learning kind of um i've got one small problem i can't really see dick here because you guys are right there so let's have a little jiggle about and i'll see what i can come up with so we can all see that might work that might work right let's no 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 i'm pushing that whole shit straight into it and i just knocked that hard there we go I'm going to pass. I think. Doesn't do it when I turn it oh, see. see. I said at the beginning of this I had used it and forgotten to tighten up these mini little nuts on the side here 
there's little grub screws on the inside and then them and they all go together little grub screws on the inside not on the outside you slack that off do your grub screw up so it's nice and tight on the deck and then you tighten them off to snug it all down and keep it still i didn't bother i just sort of done them up tested it see if it worked i was, I was all in a rush and kind of forgotten about it as i've gone along so but that is that so far i mean you can clearly see that there is a dip in that now that you know and it's quite bloody good but we've got a lot more to churn out of that i'm stopping for now that's all i'm doing i was just showing you guys at working i should have done it with this because that is a gun that is just so cool oh, the flat spot i did with a file so no angle grinder just filed it and then knocked it on but it's far enough on to sit over here where i need it so it's going to go let me it's going to go on there like that so if it's off I've got that little bit of lining up on the motor shaft itself. So, and then we got the piece the other side with a bearing in it to take any pull down tension off of it. It's all sort of leveled off and one line across. The motor's all bearing. This is a bearing in here. So, this will freely rotate when the motor rotates. So, yeah, nice. Hopefully. Mini Dave, Mini Dave, new tool of the night I reckon, but yeah, freaking awesome, finally have a lathe guys, but thanks for watching, that's it for me tonight, um, like, subscribe, comment, and share guys, share.